You know, if I had a nickel for every viral YouTube video from well over 10 years ago featuring a badger, I'd quote Dr. Doofenshmirtz. I haven't seen this video in years, and I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that this video is primo cringe. They tell me Chubb's the only one that gets your hemi down and party at the party playing with his nose now. And Baka got a weird taste, why is he around? Certified lover boy, certified pep 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 Damn it, this big brain may be a blessing, but this big brain is a curse. Why? Why this? Why badgers? Why mushrooms? Why snakes? Why did my wife leave me? Anyone who unironically says random equals funny doesn't deserve human rights. We should invent slurs for those people. Is there a secret symbolism to this? A double meaning? I need to know for my doctorate thesis. It's always the songs that need a genius interview the most that never get them! This is probably someone's favorite YouTube video. This is their The Grodfather of YouTube, and we're just expected to breathe the same air as them? <laughs> yeah, I just really like the part where they said badger, and then the mushroom happens, and then the snake is scary, and then when they do it again, and then for a third time, it makes me expel fluids I'm not allowed to describe in detail. The world is just a cruel mistress sometimes. And I'm the ringleader. I hate to say it, guys, but I think we gotta cut Gen Alpha some slack. Turns out Brain Rod has been lurking in the shadows this whole time, like Waldo in his red shirt. But unlike Gen Alpha, I, I wait tables. Table. But last, last week, week, I built, I built a filled, a filled, filled hospital. hospital. I, I stopped, stopped a thousand, thousand attackers. attackers. Had a natural disaster. disaster. Well, While I go to school, school full time. time. While I work full time. I'd like to see a fucking badger take down a terrorist. <laughs> You know, the science fiction genre can allow for endless possibilities, ideas, and dreams come true. My AI chatbot's been going off the fritz with scripts all morning. You can put the characters in a wars, you can put them in a trek, you can make a movie called Lightyear, but I wouldn't do that if I were you. Or you can put a cat in a Pop-Tart and make it fly in space because it's 2011 and we're all gonna die next year, so who gives a shit? Nyan Cat or Nyan Cat, whatever it's pronounced, I don't speak Italian. <laughs> is a GIF file that repeats for over three minutes with a boopy doopy music in the background. I remember when they did the kids react for Nyan Cat and they were very rude to it. Chop! 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 We need to send these kids out and go chop some logs, build some character. I don't really get annoyed by earworms, so I never had a problem with the video. I guess I just got that freaking dog in me. If anything, I think this video could use a little more pizzazz, or just anything besides the same five frames. <laughs> maybe put some subway surfers in the background, because that's a funny joke, and everybody uses that joke, because everybody knows that the sweetest fruit is the fruit that hangs the lowest. I guess it's kind of hypnotic in a way, but I'm pretty sure it's stuff like this that gave me my self diagnosed ADHD, so coming back to it, it kind of freaking bores me to tears. Boo hoo, I'm so bored. Boo hoo. Also, they tried peddling NFTs. Um, that won't affect the overall grade, but like. Ah, rats. Three bells! I miss the times when you didn't have to try to make good animations and simple pixel art and MS paint drawings were good enough. That's actually a total lie. I can't even draw stick figures right. The, uh... From the creator of Lego Santa Explains Why He's Black Sometimes comes a story about a duck who wants grapes, so he goes to the lemonade stand and he's like, hey, give me grapes. And then the guy's like, lol, nope. We just sell lemonade, but it's cold and it's fresh and it's all homemade. Can I get you a glass? The duck said, suck my ass. The man threatens violence, and then on the last day, much like The Last Supper, the two main characters go on a pilgrimage to the Walgreens, and then the film ends with a piece of comedic irony. Do you think this store? Do you think this store? Do you think this store? Out with it. Has any lemonade? Then he waddled away. God, I want to kill that duck. Yeah, I kid, I kid. This video's cute. I like when the man is angry, but he should have had a love interest, in my opinion. Uh. A. Hey. Bup, bup, bup. Charlie the Unicorn? I thought Charlie was that brown kid everyone hated. They probably make things really confusing at the family reunion. Were all the cool names taken? Like Brimble and Clancy? and spatula. This is a cartoon about unicorns animated by hand, or should I say hoof, 
because it was made by a cow. The internet can be a weird place if you know where to look. I watched Charlie the Unicorn probably around circa 2010 when I looked more like this, and now it's 2024, and now I look like this. Thanks a lot, Charlie. You made me who I am today. This is your fault, at least partially. I give this video one point for every P in the resolution at max settings, which would still only be 144 points by default, but is that still a lot, though? Well, in regards to the humor, while the rules to comedy can be pretty loose. One of the steadfast rules is if you put a random unprompted Leo Pluridon in your YouTube video, it's automatically funny, so I guess this is a work of comedic genius. I really appreciate the inclusivity of this video. You have a blue unicorn and a pink unicorn, so both of the sexes are covered. This was back when boys and girls knew their place, before Bluey was allowed to be a girl name. Freaking Aussies are trying to dismantle what we created. Must be a day that ends in Y! And Charlie's white, so I guess they're non-binary. I don't know. I, I know a couple whiteies who go by they them. I wasn't exactly on the wavelength of our protagonists in the first half. The vibes felt very outdated and stale, like chewing on stale bread for fun. But then the singing calligraphy showed up and got me tapping my toes like it was junior prom, minus the cancellation of junior prom due to the COVID-19 pandemic. I'll take seven tickets to the Crandy Mountain, please. And I like the twist at the end, but I won't say what it is. You gotta watch the video yourself. Self, dingbat. Overall, not exactly a hog killing time, but I liked when the unicorn sounded like a regular guy. Me, me. Boy, howdy, people on the internet sure like their cats. I bet you didn't know that. A lot of people love cats, but at the same time, cats can be lil greedy lil gremlins. This is pretty common knowledge, and it has been common knowledge for a while, but that didn't stop Simon Tofield from making a bunch of cartoons about how cats can be lil greedy lil gremlins. The best thing I can say about this animation is that I'm sure a lot of cat ladies in the 35 to 50 crowd got a kick out of it when they found it re-uploaded on Facebook, and I have a feeling that that's one of Simon's, the cat's main demographics. So, to quote Christoph Waltz in Inglorious Bastards, that's. A bingo! Me personally, I can't quite relate to being woken up by either of my cats early in the morning. Quite the opposite happens, where I try to give them pets and good vibes, but then they make ugly hissy noises at me, which make me feel like I shouldn't even bother trying to be a good person anymore. There was also this moment at the climax of the motion picture where the cat pulls out a bat, and me being in 2024 thought that the video was gonna end abruptly there. But then we actually see Simon receiving brain damage, and in today's climate, it would have been funnier if it was implied and left up to interpretation like a Charlie Kaufman movie. Try to be more like Charlie Kaufman, Simon. I also didn't like how there's a butthole on the cat. Like, you try to keep the style pretty minimal, like it's a newspaper comic strip style, and it looks nice for an old-school internet video, but you add the little minute detail of the butthole, and it's like... I don't want to see that, man. Like, I got a lot of life to live and a lot of stuff to look at, and I don't want that to be one of the things. However, critiques aside, I mean, this video is harmless. Like, what do you want me to say? You, you want me to, what, tear a man down for being happy and trying to draw some doodles? Get out of here with that. But also, screw that badger, badger, mushroom video. I hate, hate, hate it. But this is good. Follow your dreams, children. Hey, hey.